Happy enough for them then. So, they just want centre and dead centre to the rims. Welding up. Bit of paint. That'll do. Well, that's more important this afternoon. Smoke some chicken. But, uh, yeah, that'll do. It's not going to be a uh, recovery vehicle on F1 pit crew, is it? So, not have to worry about too much speed. Job done. Giving it some oily oil. It looks a big old thing, isn't it? It's a big old beast. Yes. Only one in the UK? Yep. I recognise them. Unfortunately, we were pressed for time, so we didn't get to film finishing the wheels off. Uh, literally, all we had to do was uh, we centred the hub and spokes in the middle of the rims. And then we worked out an average of the length of the spokes, and then we cut all the spokes the same length, pushed them into the rims, and then he's just welded them up. So we'll have a bit of a running session. Apparently it runs for about a month on a half a pint of petrol. <laughs> what sort of horsepower is that then? Seven. Seven horsepower. And what engine is it? An Alamo. Alamo. In the year? 1925. 1925. <laughs> I wonder how that engine would go in one of these little electric cars. Will it be environmentally friendly because it hardly uses any fuel? Oh dear. What happened there, Danny? Show you a bit of it from this side. Wheels actually turned out really well. Kind of suits everything. They're not identical to the back ones, but apparently good enough. Some of you may recognise that. My old surface grinder. And with another engine there. No idea what that one is. <laughs> so what would this have been used for then? Probably a big log saw. A log saw? Yeah. So it's not... That's it now, that would run all day like that, nearly stops and then fires. It amazes me how they keep running. I mean, a lot of the hit and miss engines are steady, but this is super slow, isn't it, on the fire? Pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's. Uh... <laughs> do with that in my van. <laughs> Got to work it. So you just got to get a bit of paint around them front wheels, wheels. and then... Just you... touch the paint through the places there. I don't want it too shiny, I want it to look like this. It's... Oh yeah, yeah. And then uh, you're off to a show with it, are you? Next weekend, hopefully. Where's the show at? Sourcethorpe between Arncastle and Scotland. Source Thorpe. I've lived around here for 50 years and I've never heard of Source Thorpe. Arncastle Way. Yeah. Right. 
turned out well in the end, didn't it? Right. Why this surface grinder up? Right, just to explain them again, Danny, because there'll be a lot of people watch this who are really into these. I thought this was quite an amazing little thing, this. That what he's unscrewing is a greaser. And these are the original to the engine. So you fill that full of grease. And before you start it, when they're screwed down, how much of a turn do you give it? One full, one full turn normally. One full turn, and it's like a miniature grease gun. Obviously you can see there's two of them, and it just pushes grease into... The one on the comrade end. Oh, there's another one there. One on your mains. So there's three there. And, because and it's this, this here is like your yeah, throttle. It goes on the knife edge there. Allows it to kick out more. And that's the oiler for... The piston. Fills this full of oil. That all drips through there. Oh, there's a piston here. It's a big old lump, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that must be now. seven inches across. Right. Yeah. And what was that thing in there that you've got? What runs it? These are, these are little buzz coils that come off a Model T Ford car. <laughs> Connect it to a battery. Catches this. Right. It produces your spark. Oh, so that, that there. Yeah. That as that comes across so it. So it comes round, catches that little pin So you there. open circuit now and then when it comes across, just... Touches that. There. Oh, I see. And that is your spark just before top dead centre. Boom. Yes. And that's where you put a bit of fuel in when you're going to start it. Plug. Plug. Petrol tank down there. They didn't have to build things. Well, well didn't they, in the day? But 97 years old or whatever it is, and uh, it certainly stood the test of time, right? Not done bad. Right. Well, I'm sure that there's a lot of people who will see this and uh, they were quite into this sort of thing. Like I say it's a little bit, we were just talking about it, it's a bit mesmerising, a bit like my little shaper. Sends you to sleep watching it, and you know, they stood in the garden all day, you just ticking away next to you and it won't bother you in the slightest. <laughs> right, we must get on anyway.